I do a lot of uh, project work where we're doing deployments and all sorts of uh, you know uh, components within the collaboration space throughout the Microsoft Teams ecosystem, but also other areas like you know rolling out meeting rooms. Uh, perhaps it's compliant. Well, whatever it is, ir irrelevant. What I'd like you uh, to realize today or to see is how we can use lists to track issues because every project's got an issues list, isn't it? True. Uh, very often we're using an Excel spreadsheet to do that, but there's a way better way to do it, and that's within lists itself. So let's use this little demo team here in general. I'll just add it up here as a list. Um, and uh, gen generally, uh, I like to create a team for projects as well, so you can manage that uh, and keep all the collateral, collateral together. Um, and that just means that you can assign access to the customer uh, of the project, any third parties, that need to have access and so on. So what I'm going to do here is um, I want to create a brand new list. So there we go. In the templates, we have an issue tracker, which I'll select. Um, I like the little icon showing a little bug. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Just by default, it's got all these different bits in here. So it's got the, the issue name, a bit of a description, the priority, the current status, who's assigned to, and, and all that kind of stuff. If we scroll over, you'll see there's a bit more. We can have a source, we can have some images, and uh, who's logged the issue and that kind of stuff. So just by default, just the baked in bits and pieces, it's it's pretty good. It's got like just about everything you'd need in the issue tracker. And of course, if you want it, because this is really using SharePoint lists, you can add additional bits and pieces on the back if you like. So I'm gonna use this template. Um, I will call it, let's go with, uh, I don't know, uh, roll out uh, issue tracker let's give it a uh, well I don't have to give it a customer name because essentially this will probably be part of the team which I've already named right um, and this is uh, maybe maybe this is a uh, post go live uh, issues uh, perhaps choose a color tidy it up you know all that kind of let's go with red because it's an issue and then you can choose a different icon I like the bug it's pretty cool and I'll go create and and there you go my rollout issue tracker has been added to my team and uh, I've got all the tags in here that I need and I can go and change that as I like if I want to add a new item or a new issue I've got all the data that we saw before and just by typing these in here I can populate this so it, it's great it, it's a, a nice way also to make sure you get all the data you need you can go back and you can change some of these attributes to require it so that uh, if you try to save it you'll see that you can't leave that blank so that's a required field and you can go back and edit any of these to be the same capturing all the necessary relevant information and you have yourself a baked issue tracker